Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today, what I thought I'd do is take a look at some watches off the beaten path that I that I found. I thought, these are interesting watches and maybe there's something that you'll like. Now, the first two uh, that I want to look at are two different examples of the Hublot Classic Fusion. Uh, the one on the left is called the Power Reserve 8 Days, uh, hand-wound, and it does have a power reserve, and you can watch it go down through the 8 days. It's, they're around 7,000. They're a good-sized watch. They're 45 millimeters. And for sort of the another end, I guess you'd say, of the um, Hublot Classic Fusion, is the 38 millimeter, uh, they have a Solita 30, uh, SW300-1, self-winding, 42-hour reserve, 4 hertz. They're around 3,500. Uh, and again, these these watches are, I know a lot of people, oh, it's Hublot, you can't like Hublot, there's nothing there. Well, they've won seven Grand Prix awards, <laughs> which is is not nothing. Now let's take a look at the thing that really got me about the the uh, uh, eight day U blow. This movement, I saw this move. I said, "Boy, this is this is not your you know your run of the mill movement. It's hand wound, uh, three hertz, 192 hours. That's eight days. Uh, and this particular one is ceramic and titanium. I think they have." These are in titanium without the ceramic. They may have them in steel as well, but most of the ones I looked at had uh, titanium. But the thing I like about this is that the really very, very interesting uh, movement on it with, like I said, with an eight day reserve. Now this next one is really uh, sort of about two wa watch companies. I should say one watch company and one watchmaker. Uh, this is the Sin 6200 WG, that's for white gold, uh, Meister Boon. Uh, now, the movement in it is a caliber UWD 33.1. I don't know, <laughs> Sin may have another uh, caliber number for it, but it's a UWD 33.1, and that is like a super neat movement. It was made, I think, uh, I don't know how, when it was made exactly, but it was made by Marco Lang, one of the top uh, watchmakers, not only in Germany, but period. And the a watch with his movement in it would probably run at, at about double this price, uh, around 29000 28000 somewhere in there. And so I thought, well, this is this might be a, a better deal than some may realize. Now the UWD thirty three point one is to me just a really a beautiful movement. And one of the things that Marco Lang does, he uses these little finger bridges for uh, so you can see so much of the movement. Uh, they have the their little bell shaped. Uh, move uh, finger bridges and for the different uh, uh, gears in the gear train and then there's another one for the escapement and another one for the uh, balance wheel uh, just a, a really unique movement and in a unique spot rather than being on a Langenheim or some other uh, watch might be an interesting one to take a look at uh, 14,500 not cheap but not as bad as some of the, of, of the ones that the other ones with the same movement or movement maker. Now the final ones is this uh, Patek Philippe Gondolo 5111. Gondolos have been 86 by Patek Philippe. They don't make them anymore. Uh, now this one was one that when I first saw it, I didn't like it at all. I just, it was something about it, I thought it was dumb looking paddock poet. But uh, one day I was doing a collection review, this guy had a collection and wanted me to review it. And I, he had one of these, and I, what a cool looking watch. And the more I've looked at it, the more I've come to appreciate it. Now, 
again, uh, here they're around 14,000. The one is, you see they're in white gold or yellow gold. And um, these, the ones that I picked to look at, to, to examine, are ones before 2009. Why is that? Well, in 2009, they put in, they started putting in silicon hairsprings at that time, they lost their Geneva seal, so they no longer have the Geneva seal. And um, so it was a Patek Philippe. I, I've always liked Patek Philippe, but once they put the silicon in them, I just uh, forget about it. But some of the earlier ones I really like. Uh, and he, this is one that uh, 3 hertz, oh wait, no, it's not 3 hertz, it's 4 hertz. And it's just a nice, formal watch or you could be sort of an executive suite watch you wear this doesn't make a lot of noise doesn't have like bling look at me classic looking uh, watch um anyway well those are the ones that i thought would be you might find interesting and um like to hear what you think about it and any any other kind of sort of off the beaten path watches that you'd recommend, opportunity to subscribe if you like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Arts, uh, the Art and Science of Watch Collection.